Welcome to our deep dive into Risky Assembly. Today, we're tackling a fascinating question from one of our viewers about the AUIPC and Jollar instructions used in function calls. Specifically, they want to understand why the assembly generated by GCC for a simple C program seems to jump to the AUIPC instruction instead of the intended function. Let's break it down together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution you need. Anyway, let's continue on. Let's begin by understanding the purpose of the AUIPC and JALR instructions in RISC-V assembly. The AUIPC instruction stands for Add Upper Immediate to PC. It calculates the address based on the current program counter and stores it in a register. In our example, the instruction AUIPC T1 0x0 sets the register T1 to the current program counter value. This is crucial for function calls as it allows us to calculate the address of the function we want to call. Next, we have the JALR instruction, which stands for Jump and Link Register. The instruction JALR T1 will jump to the address stored in T1 and save the return address in the very register. Now let's clarify the confusion. When the code executes JALR T1, it jumps to the address in T1, which is the address of the instruction following AUIPC. This is not the entry point of the ID function, but rather a way to facilitate function calls. In summary, the combination of AUIPC and JALAR allows for efficient function calls in RISC-V assembly. It enables the program to dynamically calculate addresses, making it flexible and powerful. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. When disassembling an object file, the addresses shown for AUIPC and JAL are arbitrary because they get relocated by the linker. To see the relocation information, you can use the MASHR option with objdump. The relocation entries indicate that the linker can replace AUIPC and JALR with a single JAL instruction if the target address is close enough. This makes the program shorter but complicates the relocation process. The assembler can't directly emit final instructions for local symbols because it needs to account for potential changes from external symbols and other linker rules. To see the relocated addresses, disassemble the linked binary. The linker often relaxes A can gel R to JAL, but objump may not show the raw JAL offset. You can verify the offset calculations manually, but note that new binutils objdump doesn't display the raw JAL offset, while LLVM objdump does, though it lacks some annotations. And that's it guys. I hope the video has helped find you to that resolution and you are able to get through your problem. If it did guys, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. It does help me out. And until next time, have a good one.